1974. The sound of Mr. Roy is, of course, there on the Vibes. His album, which came out on Polydor Records, Change Up the Groove, and the same track, Fakisha to Arrive, is on that. Staying with the 70s a little while longer, I thought it would be nice to go back down memory lane with some cool and the game. And this cut, which is entitled Come Together, such a beautiful score. Check this out, people, listen to it, and um, tell me what your thoughts are after the show. We love you, Marcia. I bless you. I love you too. We love you. And thank you for being a music enthusiast. Thank you for me. Big up to you for coming down and supporting. I have not noticed. And coming up, DJ Elaine will be up in about five, ten minutes. So get ready to welcome a queen of... Deep into the, the beautiful ethnic sound, right from the mother egg. Yeah. This one is it's so beautiful. We always do it 
in Africa on that big tree in the moonlight where all the beautiful family gather around and sing Kilele, Kilele, Awo, Awo, Kilele yeah. Don't be shy people, Kilele, Kilele, Awo, Awo, Kilele and We are going to sing Kilele, Kilele, Awo, Awo, Kilele So let me hear you all say Kilele!
Dusties. Get up. The natives are still sitting down. I don't understand that. All the get up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, coming up very shortly, we have a wonderful first guest in the house. And her name is DJ Elaine. Make your way to the booth, sister Elaine. Can't play too too. But before we get over to Elaine, this is brand new on the Havana Cultura Subello Cuba LP. Enjoy this. <laughs> Con mi prende los hombros, que al ingenio me metí en el barraco, y así sentí la fuerza que venía del fondo. Me cubrió con ganas y me para alumbrar mi día. Y ahora soy quien repite con fe su fundamento y canto a mi adentro el rezo que a mí le envía. Que no trajo el nadie Y yo como chivo sin pesta Que en mi cotillera pretendo volar Y vengan los perros que yo sí que mato en mayoral ¡Bomba! Pressing that they sent me. George, if you're watching this, please send me over the finished artwork so I can quote you properly in the future. I'm gonna drop a couple of minutes of this and then we're gonna speak to DJ Elaine, who's queuing up the two. Mind your hair, darling. <laughs> if you're watching live on the stream, thank you, all of you engaged. Sorry I haven't been able to do the shout out properly. Lady Love, how you doing? David Miller Lawson, Adam Porter Blake, big up to you. Thank you for watching and joining us. Shouts out to Music Angel, 
who's helping me, the camera woman in the studio today, Paolo Scotti. Ciao. Coming to Kiami. How are you? I know your name, of course. Why, why did I say that? Anyway, to everyone that's watching, Stafford Tomlinson, big up your status. Um, Yvonne Taylor, Michael Stooks in NYC. Shouts out to you, Steve Parr, big up to you as well. And so many other people watching on the stream. And hello to all of you out there. Give us a wave, yay! Hello, live from Y Rye Wax Records. Thank you for keeping us company here for this live edition, the roadshow edition of Two Decks and a Mixer. So, Elaine, grab that mic for me right there, would you, darling? And now I'm going to bring you up on this mic. Can we hear you? Say hello. Hello. Yes, there you are. Good evening. Good evening. Bonsoir. I want you to put your hands together and give her a nice round of applause. And welcome her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're all sweet kind. That's right. But I beg you to do the record. I'll do that for you in a second. Elaine, firstly, hello, darling. Thank you for coming on. Lovely for this evening. It's been a long, long, long time that I've known this lady, but in a music capacity, to have you here, I'm touched. I'm really honoured because it has been a long time. I really don't want to tell them how long ago. <laughs> that we don't look it, they'll feel my life anyway. They don't know it anyway, but let's say towards the latter part of the 80s, not quite, or it was the mid 80s actually. I think beat the visions and all of that stuff. Right, I saw me on top, go. Okay, you put me under pressure, you made me go there. Why did she do it? Oh, yes, backtracking, as we say. Anyway, people, don't start working out any mathematics you let on the vibe. Yes, or that. Pay attention. The wonderful DJ Elaine, it's an honor to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you for taking the time out. Yeah. I really, Thank really you. appreciate it. Because as I said, it's been a long time that I've known this lady. She may be a new name to some of you out there. But these are one of the trailblazers, the people that opened the door for people in the music industry. When they say, oh, where are the women at? Well, here we are. Here, here, here we are. Here we are. Okay, I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet or even Elaine. But stay. Tap, tap, man. Tap, tap. Well, spell tap. If you can't spell tap, it's S A C T S. Tap. Not fiction. Okay. So moving on from that, little introduction. Thank you. I thought it'd be lovely to have you on the show because you know what? I know you're busy and you shy away from social media, so to speak. But people need to know about you because people are using social media to rewrite history and change things around and things like that. Let me take off my glasses. (laughs) And it's significant as well because it relates to also the Grenfell Towers family who we're honouring in one sense here. We are honouring them, and uh, we want to lift up the, the friends and the families who have gone through this situation that needn't have happened. But like, we don't get too political, so therein lies the link. And so we're here to lift them up. We're here to lift up one another and celebrate people. We had two wonderful guests on besides yourself. We started off with Paul Trouble Anderson. We can only make a brief appearance because he was on to somewhere else. We just left the studio. That man works so hard and I have so much respect for him. And we also had one of the UK's best in my opinion actually underrated soul singers. Absolutely. Noel McCoy. Noel McCoy? Give me a hand. Wow. Wow. That's right. We what had... can I say that he's your singer and he's my producer but we won't go there. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> <you're singing. laughs> okay. So we have Noel, Noel McCoy as well. Yeah. And the reason why I had Noel on as well because he always pre- presents a message in his songwriting yeah. so it's significant and it ties in neatly with playing a message in the music you know I didn't really want to hear about it you're telling me about parts of my anatomy today or telling me what the colour of my skin is like I need to be, to be reminded all yourself you know so we're not trying to use this platform for negativity but to elevate and uplift people and this is where you come in as well because 
for years, this lady has been championing people, bringing through people through her own projects like the 291 Club, which she founded and started off as well. And so many other things in television with Charlie Hansen, and you went on to radio. And, and she, she looks good, don't she? Don't you want Mother, 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 mother. Anyway, <laughs> just joking. You're too kind. You're too kind. You're putting me on blast now, you know that, don't you? Oh, bless, bless. No, uh, it's seriously true. Uh, so she's got a lot of history and a lot of pedigree. So it's nice for us to, in moving forward, we need to go back and fill in the jigsaw puzzle properly because there are lots of pieces missing within the UK dance music underground, yeah? And so I'm using my platform as best as I can to just illuminate some people that need some light shining on. So on that note, just tell us quickly how it started out for you in the music industry, DJing and broadcasting, you know? Tell, tell the viewers and tell the people here uh, at Roy Wax. Roy Wax, well, thank you very much to the venue owners for uh, allowing us to keep this down here. Thank you to all the people that's come out to see me tonight. Why, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, because my friends have come. I've got to say, you know, to me. Pick up and up and yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. But you're asking me to go back to the beginning. And that's a long time, oh, yeah. so I'm oh, doing a presenter's trick. Just briefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. so, so how did it start? <laughs> well, well, how did it start? I don't know. All I remember is that um, I had my first flat and decided to do a night at Ronnie Scott's because we used to go down to listen to Trevor Shakes on the Thursday. Oh, wow. Now and Keith, wow. Keith, who used to run it, um, I don't know, I used to mess about in the booth when people used to be washing the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because I didn't want to get my nails sorted. So whilst I was in the booth, there, there was always some records in there. Yeah. So my excuse was to just entertain my friends while helping Keith wash the glasses. So this is after the night is over. Wow. And so I entertained them so well that my other half at the time said, um, you're really good at this. Why don't we get a night down here? So we went to Keith and Keith said, yeah, have it, Wednesday. And we packed the place, and I'll never forget it. I don't remember the first tune I put on. I know it was a reggae tune, but I had to hold my wrist like this. The place yeah, was the packed. nerves. The nerves. And I literally put the record, the needle on the record like this. <laughs> it was like that. It was like, just dropped it. I don't know if it was at the beginning. I don't know if it was at the beginning or what. And do you remember Ronnie Scott's makes upstairs? It had like a little cupboard kind of, that's where the DJs were. Yeah, yeah, right? a little cubby, cubby hole. Almost. Cubby hole, yeah. cubby hole. And I put it on the record and I looked out and everyone was dancing. I was like, what? <laughs> They're dancing to the record that I put on, I can't believe it. And by the end of the night, um, the owner of... Um, um, they're laughing at you. <laughs> <Miley>. <laughs> yeah. By the end of the night, the owner of Lufian Rose in uh, Earl's Court yes. asked if I would do a night down there on a Saturday. Right. Le and Rose, you Le know. Rose. And it just turned out that every gig I played at, I got another gig. So, and it was only meant to be fun yeah. to begin with. And and that was that. I just talked to my truth through the records and just did what I wanted through the music. Exactly. And, you know, I didn't see myself as a female DJ. I just saw somebody who loves music, yes. want to put it on, make people dance. Same, same, same yeah. here. Similar, slightly slimmer, similar journey. And so, then we saw you on our TV screens, <laughs> didn't we? With a program called the 291 Club. Wow. And why I was attracted to this was not just because I knew you, but for me, seeing throes of black people <laughs> coming to a television studio. Well, a theatre actually, theater. to Empire. support a lady. It was all that, that was kind of unprecedented, really. Yeah. Let's be honest. In what well, the I 90s? don't think they came out to see me. I think they came out for the talent, yeah. and it was it, it was, was the whole thing all yeah, together. That's let's, right. Come on, that's let's, right. let's, let's don't be thing. down on yourself. Oh, it was the whole thing. Your presentation. You're yeah. very artic articulate, you, and you man. present yourself well. It wasn't some pirate radio shabang kind of apparition going on. You know, you you were taken seriously, which is why. 
Charlie Hankson and the crew probably said, yeah, let's give you a chance and let's do this. I mean, it ran for quite a while. Yeah, it did on Night TV and they re-ran it on and Channel 4. But can I say how that started? Yeah. Well, so whilst we was doing the breakfast show on LWR. Whoa. Um, Whoa, yeah. 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 You are, you are, you are, you Yeah, so the um, major record companies... Even though they weren't allowed to be seen to be servicing us with records, they did. Yeah. And we would get such an influx all the time. And sometimes I didn't get time to listen to them at home. So I used to just, because I used to do a breakfast show five days a week, Monday through to Friday. So I'd bring the records in with me, and on air, I'd say, right, I haven't had a chance to listen to this. Let's have a quick listen to this now. It's rubbish, we're taking it off, right? <laughs> and... They were so beautifully packaged. You could see the amount of money they would spend on these packages that they would send in. And Pro, it would be promos, rubbish. Promos as well. Promos, promos. Rubbish. Absolutely. I used to say on there, you're only one thing left to do with this is you deserve a frisbee. Right? That's what I used to say on there. And then one day, I just thought, do you know what? Because I kept saying, I can find better talent down the road. Yes. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that. So I did. So I went to Dawson and I asked whoever the manager was there if I could have it and then that's how the 291 Club was born it took I don't know I think the, after the first season it was bursting at the seams we couldn't hold it any, hold it there anymore because it was just too small so I then took oh. it to Pal Joey's in the West End yes. and then um, Bev Randall yes. came down loved it and she went and called Charlie Hansen he came down and I made them judges and um, Charlie Hansen was like I'm looking to put together a variety show at the Hackney Empire. Would you make your talent show a part of it? And I said, well, of course, it'd be rude not to. So um, after about the second series, and by this time it was sold out, second or third, I don't know which one, um, at the end of the show, someone came, one of them came up to me and she said, um, I want you to sit down. Why, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? ITV were in the house tonight and they want your talent show but they only want it if you are presenting that's right that's what I'm talking about because they spotted the raw talent and so the rest is history and then you've obviously gone on over the years to continue to do radio and um present other I can't remember the resume that you have of some yeah. of the other TV programs and music well also EMI Records so they yes. are manager over EMI Records yes. that's right EMI Records one of was it A&R you were, I can't A&R remember. manager A&R and the manager at EMI Records I'm sure you could show some of the people the new talent out there a thing or two and um, also you are a businesswoman because I know you went when some people said, Where, where's Elaine gone? Because people think you just disappear. You have a wig company as well. <laughs> See it there? She has part the, part the goods then. <laughs> but, you didn't know it was a wig, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a real hair, of course. Under there. But anyway, but um, you know you've gone into business and you've been doing your things, you know, as a, as a parent as well. Yeah, grandparent. Oh, sorry, yeah, she's... A grandparent now. Yeah. So they're still trying to work out the mathematics <laughs> of it all, but we're not going to enlighten them to that at all. So, you've done all of that, and this is why I'm justified in having this lady on the show. It's definitely warranted. You could, you know, inspire a new generation of women and just guys and girls out there just generally looking to get into the music industry. And um, like, like Elaine, I kind of like organically, I fell into this, I fell into yeah. that, and some things were completed by accident, I hadn't even planned them, so that's why I sort of see almost, not a parallel, but a slight, slight yeah. mirror yeah. You journey with me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? of, of what we've done within the music nice. industry. Yeah. And so she's picked up all of these records along the way, being an A&R lady, doing the 291 Club, hosting shows on different stations. We don't need to name them all because it's my show, okay? <laughs> Tell us about this first track that you selected and I'm going to cue it while you're talking. Thank you. Well, this first track, um, you told me to bring some uplifting tunes and stuff and I thought I'd bring tunes about love because everybody loves love. Um, track number, hold on, three, I'm pretty sure it's three. Three, okay, I'll do yeah. it. Yeah, track number three. And um, the great thing about this track 
it's so good so so good from the first note it's so good the singing is beautiful I believe they're singing about love because it's not in this it's not in English so I'm convinced it, yes I'm convinced so if anybody speaks Spanish and it's not about love I don't want to know because in my head it's about love all right one from the Grenville A wonderful track selection. A round of applause for Elaine for picking up hot, hot tunes that dance. Thank you. It's definitely one to work the hits. Yeah. Lady. Well, with well, that particular track, when you went to listen to people like Paul, Trouble Anderson, and Trevor Shea, when it got to the end of the night, I was just saying to Pete Mellow, we just talking about it, that at the end of the night when the lights goes on, these are the tracks that they used to put on, and used to have all the dancers in the middle of the floor, and just getting down, completely wet from the sweat. Okay, I'm so, but it was, you know, I used to what to watch. Well, I thought I was dancing like that in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one can but try, eh? Yeah, yeah. But that's what we grew up on anyway. That, that is definitely a tune. I'm just going to keep it running under the, underneath, it's okay. Right. Because I want you to explain to me about your next pick on Pick and Play today. Why have you chosen this track 
by a legend who's sadly gone, but not forgotten. Why have you chosen this track? Because he's awesome. He's absolutely awesome. Lyrically, production-wise. Did you know that he actually did you know that he actually wrote quite a lot of Bob Marley's tunes? Did you know that? Curtis Mayfield. Yeah. Yeah? He did. And, and the legend Bob Marley, yes. That's right. And I thought that um, the track that I pull out, every time I hear it, it's like, you know you get that track that you can never get enough of it. Okay, never get yes, of, it. of course. Um, but aside from that, I play it for the men, right? Oh, because and, why, and why would that be? Like? I play it for the men because it's instructional. And a lot of them don't know what to do. Oh, yeah, 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 are you, are you listening? Yes. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Okay. And it's a brilliant track to dance to Before you well. get yourself in, 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 in more trouble. trouble. No, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for trouble, man. Okay, well, after trouble. the show, we're going to have some uh, trouble. Uh, let's, trouble. Let's check this out. Introduce it. Curtis Mayfield. What is a woman for? What is your woman for? What is your woman Do you know what your woman's for? Yeah. Play it.
to. See, you see, fellas, if you're not speaking like that about your woman and to your woman, what are you doing? <laughs> Why is that quiet? You, yeah. can hear, you can hear a pin, yeah. a pin yeah. drop. <laughs> you know you're in Cardin woman, super woman. Are we in not that super women? <laughs> we are your backbone, <laughs> mate. You better remember that. that. <laughs> remember that. Oh, I can see it in trouble. What is your room for? for, for, for to go to the bar and get a drink. <laughs> That's so terrible. We've, we've, wow. We've Are we hurt right their feelings? We've hurt their feelings. No, no, no. Anyway. I know Noel agrees. Noel agrees, doesn't he? Noel, you agree, didn't you? No, I think Pete, Noel, you agree, didn't you? I think Noel knows how to keep a woman sweet. I think he does. Of course. Okay. okay. And you, you agree so, with old Curtis, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Can I just say something? Well, go on. What, what do you want to say? What? Oh, oh yeah, what? Before what? you get yourself in trouble, trouble with the yeah. lads, Take a seat. Stay over there in the den. <laughs> okay. So let's move on because they're getting upset. <laughs> all right. Well, tell us about this next track that you. Well, still the like next track. Chosen. All right. There's, it comes in two parts, and I like both parts. <laughs> I'm laughing at Trevor getting the most upset. <laughs> 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 he loves this woman the most. I don't know what he's talking about. All right. Yeah, tell us about this next tune you've selected. Well, guys, pick and play. All right, okay, okay. So um, the next track, I like it specifically uh, because of the lyrics, because it's so, so true. Sometimes okay. when you're sitting down... Yeah. Ah, Joyce! Sometimes when you're sitting down... <laughs> and you're feeling like... Contain yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very excitable. I have to tell you that I haven't slept for 24 hours, oh, all right? Really? So I'm, I'm running on, I don't know what, adrenaline, being here with you, my darling. Oh. But um, well, I, and I guess that's what this track is about. You know, you have okay. to understand that the only thing we have is this moment right here because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow you don't know what's going to happen in the next moment you of really course. really don't your life could change like that well, thank god that right? we are here you know to celebrate life absolutely so we can't tr take it for granted we can't take other people's lives for granted and whenever you're feeling a little bit down this is a good one to give your head a shake to. It's a pick-me-up. Yes, yes, yes. Don't even shake the rest of your body. Just shake your head. Shake, shake your head. Sh you know, one. knock out the cupboards on the rubbish in your head. <laughs> right? Just stand there and go... And it, it's good to have a good spring, yeah. spring clean. Yeah. Uh, and I totally agree. And obviously we're here. As I said, the whole show is kind of, for me, just a love ode. In, in tribute and memory of those who lost, Absolutely. lost their lives. I mean, you know, uh, um, let me just the, show the them. families and friends of Greg yeah. Phil, you know, so I thought, I knew you'd pick out some tunes. Don't give it all away. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let, don't no, no, let's keep you keen. Oh, right, okay. Let's jump to March, go on. Before we jump to that, let's put the needle on the record. You introduce it and then press play. All right, well, this particular track comes in two versions right. of the same tune. They run concurrently one after the other. Right. Um, it's... Oh, yeah, you tell me not to... Can, am, I, am I allowed to say who it's by? Yes, yeah, I want you to introduce it. Oh, won't, no, won't oh, I won't. Well, I, you just told me not to. I don't know. No, I mean, don't jump on that one. You don't show one. them that? No, not, not that record. I was going to show them the no, cover. No, let, let's, of this. I want the train spotters to guess. Oh, yes, right? Yeah, let, oh, them, let them do some okay. homework. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, well, then I shouldn't say it, then. You right, can okay. say the artist, but... All right, it's Roy Ayers. Right, okay. All right. And we love I'm Roy Ayers.
the whole lyric. Life is just a moment, you better enjoy it. That's the whole lyric. Fantastic, eh? Oh yeah, and that lyric as well. <laughs> He's been pedantic. <laughs> Yeah, let's bring it back to um, the, 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 the. Do you want the, to bring it back? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. excellent. Yeah, we're bringing it back to the first version. This is the lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. Lyrics to me, lyrics are important on yeah. on on records, and obviously for this feature today here, uh, broadcasting live from Rye Wax in the basement. Some of the tunes that you've heard today are actually available for sale. The record shop is just down the far end of this room. Go past the bar and please support the musical underground, because these are artists that we all love and they have to eat. So they can't eat Absolutely. if you don't buy and support their material, which means records. I know we have digital outlets and formats now, but if you can support the merchandise and also attend, attend shows and concerts when they perform. Yeah, do all of that. So life is just a moment and you were saying that Unfortunately, this situation happened last year. I was actually in shock when I saw this. I thought, you know, all sorts of things were going through my head. And because I've had someone kind of close to me directly affected by it as well, it's kind of on my heart in that sense. And also just, just to show, because not much has been said about it in the press and all sorts of fictitious bits of information out there things aren't adding up they're not telling well today on the way in sorry to jump in there but today on the way in i was hearing on the news that they're you know people somebody's paying tribute to the 72 people that died i wanted to throw the radio out the window 72 people hello are they sure about that they're not sure they are sure that it's not 70 no they're sure it's not 72 people but that's what they, they you know the story that they're sticking with. Well, that's what they've said is the official, the official count. But we're not going to go into the whys and wherefores. But um, you know, simple maths will show you that that can't be correct. So life is just a moment, and Roy is is a formidable talent that we all love. I think everybody in, here in this space who's a music aficionado appreciates the talent of the legendary vibes man. And thank God he's still performing is alive and still doing shows at Ronnie Scott's and the Jazz it's Cafe amazing. and around the world. So salute to a musical general and an icon. Now, moving on to your next selection on today's Pick and Play. I'm loving all the Pick and Play selections that we've had from all of the guests today. It's just been a wonderful musical experience and I'm glad to be here with you. Me too. Seriously. Well, the next track... Yeah, All right. Tell, tell um, them about that before they get hype into that. <laughs> that point. It's not a hype track, but um, it's a track that I would probably draw for in a house party okay. when you when you put the black bags up on the window, and you know what I mean. All everyone's right, got a bottle of yeah, man. Everyone's got a bottle of champagne each in their hand, and you know, head not good again. Do you know what I mean? And you don't want it too slow, but you don't want it too I'm fast. Sorry, and you I have it to. I have to interject here because. Some people in the audience and those no, watching may not understand what you mean by head not good again. Explain in an English layman's term for the people then at home watching barely and you know some of the guests in All the right, audience. Well, I think King Cockney is like, oh, went on a bender. It was a right bender. <laughs> oh my okay, God. Okay, so she went from Jamaican patois so Cockney, can you tell them in standard English, please? Uh, in, in, was it alleviated? Was it, was it, is it alleviated? Yes. Yeah, alleviated. All right, drum. Meaning, All right, drum. Now go again. Drum. Okay. Everybody's drunk. <laughs> Drunk. Yeah, when you're a bit wasted, they're drunk. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's even drunk. Yeah, they're junk. They're <laughs> junk. <laughs> Mush up. So the Kian. R-A-S. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kian. <laughs> Go on. When they're mush so, up. To R-A-S. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so it's, it's not fast. It's not slow. It's just a nice, you know what I mean? You don't want to rub up. You just want to have a nice little boogie in someone's okay. front room. And, and, and by rub up, she means a oh, wig. <laughs> Well, yeah. right. we're going off into some dialects here. Some people must that be like, it's kind of like people a party. watching in Japan and around the world there and they don't yeah. get it, love. All right, I'm so sorry. It's kind of like a party revival as well. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like, you know when the party's like, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody start dancing again. That's okay. the same. No. Okay. All right, so if you're in the know, then you might know. All right. All right. Play it. What? I'm glad 
sing along, people. Don't be shy to sing along. We know you know the words. Can explain the magic coming over me. I'm spinning and I'm feeling you capture me. I'm sure each and every one in the people in here have got kind of a story to tell behind that tune in a dance where yeah. they were rubbing up people or doing well, whatever. They should have been dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Come <in> on. <laughs> but oh, seriously. You would be rubbing up, that's all right. I shall. What do you know about it? Exactly. You keep rubbing up like so normally. You don't know. No hexing from the audience. <laughs> Menu. You've seen I've that. Seen you. You're not seeing no, your no, participation. No, no, no. Now, yeah. this next car, I just want to quickly share with you a story. I played it out a few times, and um, I had DJs, I'm not going to say any of their names, come up to me and tell me off, why are you playing no this? No way! Because it's a folk record of sort. Oh, why are you playing this tune? And then as soon as the tune was remixed by two big names in the US, it was like, oh, Mars, you know that tune? I'm like, uh, excuse me, 
I was playing this before people kind of were, you know, even digging it. But because it got the house treatment, as it were, everyone was suddenly rushing over this tune, over to you. Well, for me, I've always played this tune from the get, from the giddy up. You know, I'm the sort of DJ that, you know, you can give me your tune if you like, and like but with the record companies, right? They'll give you your ch- a tune and they tell you that the A side is what they want you to lead with. Well, guess what? If the B side sounds better to me, that's what I'm playing. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes I'll buy an agreement. album. No, sometimes I'll be- buy an album because I like the picture. That's how I got turned on to um, Chaka Khan. And she's my favorite now. Do you know what I mean? But with this particular album, um, if, you were, if you frequented when I played out in parties, you would have heard that enough. That and um, Chucky's in love and all of those kind of choose the little blue eyed soul. Yeah, yeah thing, I was gonna you know say, I mean? yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, for me, it was imperative for me to have these kinds of tunes because when I started, I used to be booked for parties from 12 midnight and go right round to East Enders, me one on the deck. So you know that you had to take people on a musical a journey. journey. And That's right. they would get served up all genres. None, none of this, um, you know. 60 minute, 40 minute, no, half no. an hour sets, let's get 50 DJs on the bill. No, no. I, know, I understand the ethos behind that is because it's all about a numbers game, isn't it? Yeah. Getting people into the festival, into yeah. the club, into the dance. But, but I don't see know, the point because if you've got like bills of DJs, you know, no one's no one's taking the people on a journey. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Coming up to 12 o'clock at night, your club should be heaving from the person that was on before you. 12 o'clock, the dance floor should be heaving. All right? Absolutely. As you get into like 2, 3 o'clock and all of that, yeah. you know, it starts petering out. Excuse yeah. the pun. And, um, <laughs> no, that's correct. You're and the lo- right. And right at the end, people supported their scene. That's what I remember. I, that's what I remember. So I'm bored of going out now. I'm so bored of going out now because. Well, there are a few places. Well, you better tell me and tell yeah, me. All things soulful. All things soulful. That's right. Sorry, all things soulful. That's right. Sorry, all things soulful. I will, I will like that's you. right. Yeah. And that's enough heckling from the audience <laughs> <laughs> about you get your, your, your free free <laughs> promotion. He's <laughs> <laughs> no, worth it. So he's oh, worth it. This record is a favourite. One of my favourite story. About yeah, it's always in my box. In the dance, always in my at box. At the jam, house party, or whatever, it's always in your box. Always so in my box. It's not a safety tune. Because no, it's not. It's because like, you can't play any and anywhere. Yes. But because, do you know? Well, oh God! I, if I was to even tell you what's going on, I just when you said to me to play vinyl, my vinyl's not in my house. My vinyl is tucked away here, there, and everywhere. Oh, right. Okay. So I went to the nearest place where I. That's why she's not had any sleep in the last 24 well, hours. it's not actually, it's not. It's that 291 club that's got me up all night. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> Look, I had to run, go to my other place yeah. and pick up a box and then quickly go through it and oh, grab a handful. We appreciate that. And that's what happened. Yeah. And I did get this. a chance to refresh my memory on what the, what the, it was the, what's this place called again? This is the Bussy building, but this is Rye Wax Records. Rye Wax Records. So I had to take a handful of records. They've got a record player around the back, and they yeah. kindly allowed me to play my tunes yes. and use their headphones. So, you, so you, then you I had a quick... Touch, touch, I touch, kind touch. of touched up to refresh my memory and sing and make sure that's not the one that is Scratch, you know? Yes, okay. So, so <laughs> let's, let's, let, let's put them out of their misery, the suspense, as it were. Oh, was. I like it. And, it, and play it chill. All right, it's the volume up. I hate when no, the volume uh, music I, doesn't come straight No, in. it's because of the mics, you know. Or All right, we'll turn off the mics and then let's turn on the music. Yes. All right, I think we're going to introduce the track, love. No, you said not to. Just play the music. Oh, okay. Not this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I have to let them know what that is. Wheel up, wheel up, pull up the tune, pull up the tune, pull up the tune. Wheel up the selection, sister. Now this is a tune that I was telling you that I got sort of indirectly dissed, you know. Well they don't know who they are. Why do you talk to people like that? Why well, do you? Well, but sometimes you. you do something and then you find out what people are like. Drop the needle upon the record.
that was so good to hear that again. And in a club. Thank you. Awesome to see also people out there in the audience singing along to the tune. Fine, fine selection from you today, DJ LA. Not that I am doubted that at all. So, for some of, some of you. Quiet. Listen. I know you didn't mean anything. Exactly. Thank you. But just a bit. No. Me no. and this lady. No. No. It's not at all. It's not right. Bad Listen. Me and this this lady and I. Um, one of the first. I knew you before the DJ gig, but one of the first times we played was in the mid '80s. Was it not the V for Visions? All of that. When was yeah. that? Um, and stuff. I, I, I can't remember, but it was it was a long, it was long, a long time ago, and and I've had mutual respect and admiration for it for you since. And no shade, all right. I don't know who's saying about shade. I'll get my glasses. I'll get my glasses if you want shade. All right. No, I'm joking. Let it go. Seriously. Not like that. No, oh my gosh. No, but seriously, um, fun and joke. I do take things literally, you have to excuse me. It's been a wonderful pleasure having you on the show today, Two Decks and The Mixer. For those of you, thank you, thank you. You came down to the basement here of the Buffy Building to support this live road show. And I'm going to tell you about the next day coming up on Friday in a little while. But before Elaine goes, she's got one more track Selection right. of pick and play today. Okay, this so I'm fair. Really you know, no, 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 honestly, I'm really, really fair because you know I, I I played the track that was instructional for the men. I've now <laughs> played. I'm going to play one that's instructional <laughs> for the women. Even Even though though it's not going to that. Uh, Can't take it. her anywhere, really. Uh, no, 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 no. Seriously, I could just, you know. Allow you, allow you, yeah. Allow me, allow me, allow me. All right. So he says it all in the chorus. Okay, so we'll put drop needle on the record, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah.
Do not do it. All right. What a tune. <laughs> I think that deserves a round of applause, people. You've been spoiled Woo! with some wonderful Thank musical you. selections here tonight. Thank you so much for that one, Elaine. On the Thank boogie, you. on the boogie tip and yeah, with a yeah, steel yeah. pan yeah. outro there at the end. I think I'm just gonna jack it up a little bit. So tell us what's up with you next. And I've seen on social media and we're not going to in going into it like in in into it. No, nah, we won't that, the Nothing. 291 Club could it's be something happening on the horizon maybe soon for 2019 uh, or... No, 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 no. Wow, sooner than that. <laughs> yeah, 2018. Sorry, right. Autumn. Um, 2018. Autumn. But before we get there, obviously we've got to find the contestants and we've got like, even though it's going to be the 291 as you know it, yeah. um, obviously we're going to tweak it a little bit. Okay. But leading up to it, we want to really... Because I was watching the tapes, right? Right. And there's quite a few of them that I'm thinking, do I really need to put these tapes up? These people might feel bad. Because there were some... Some people just needed to get booed. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, I mean I, that's what made it. Yeah. Hearing that people had the audacity to come up with... I know, but it was before the internet. They yeah. might not want to revisit... Oh that that pathway. So, I have to really yeah. think so about you're, it. You're, pray, pray on it. Pray Let on the it. Lord but, lead but, you. But, but okay. The thing is, before the thing you do is, that, the thing is, everybody <laughs> knew. All the contestants yeah. knew what they were letting themselves in for. Okay. And you can see, you can see that oh some of the people God. that I'm watching is like, you can hear they can sing, but yeah. they're petrified of the two nine one club. Of course. And there was there's one girl which yeah. I can't wait to put up actually. She um, she starts off really really nervous. And the crowds, and you can see the cameras on, and go, come off, come off, come off, and let them, you see her, yeah. come off, right? And she stood there, and she was singing like this, little light-skinned chick, and I'm sitting there, and she's singing like this, and she's scared, but she's on this, she's on this, and then she builds and builds and builds, and then she finds her foot in, finds her foot in, and the crowd just turned around and was like, hey! do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> So, so, so what I'm saying is, is that I really, really, really want to make sure that we can get the best talent possible. Of course. Do you know what I mean? Of so course. we're going to start auditioning really soon. Probably I'm sure, lot, I'm sure really you'll have soon. lots of people, takers, that are willing to... Because if, they, if they're going to see it as an alternative to perhaps t established TV shows like, you know, The X Factor and whatever and stuff, then, you know... Bring it, bring it on. It'll be like so nights at the forward. Apollo in Harlem, you know, people with their tomatoes ready to... No, 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 have things thrown at you. I will tell all no, but I will tell all my contestants. If anybody throws anything, you pick it up and you chew it. But but, can, <laughs> but perhaps they can sort of see it as an initiation <laughs> test. They pass the initiation <laughs> test. You're so of bad, the audience. Yeah. You're going to come and be a judge now, anyway. Got, You're going to come got, and be a judge one night. Would you come and be a judge? Uh, yeah, yeah, all right then. I yeah, think. yeah, you can okay. be a judge. Okay. We'll have you. Well, we need some, you know, some variety to spice up the television. She's so bad. <laughs> we won't be having any of that. My friend Carol over there, who's a wonderful DJ and selector Go as on, well. Selector. Go on, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> She's like Miles. We're gonna have words with you later. Don't don't go there. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You've been outstanding, but the show is not over. We have another 45 minutes. But that was Elaine's last selection on Pick and Play. She deserves... That's right. Let me hear you make some noise. Thank you. You can do better than that. Come on, I can't hear you. I love you. Thank you. Social media, they can find you on Twitter. Oh, I don't know those handles. <laughs> Listen, all you've got to do with me, right? All you've got to do with me let is me Google me. Let me just Google let me. you know. -E. She has an account on Twitter. 
clearly it's inactive then, yeah. Your, your name's no. on there, unless yeah, it's no, 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 no. But I've hooked it up. No, I've hooked it up with my Facebook. So everything I post oh. on Facebook gets posted on Twitter. Okay, but you need to check into Twitter know, every know, now and again so yes, they know you're alive. Yes, I'm all right. <laughs> So you can find her on all the social media yes, platforms. Yes, you can. But the thing is, is that the easiest way to find me is just Google my name. Google e- your name. Google okay. my name. E L A Y N E. Simit. Well, Smith, really. Simit Smith. Um, yeah. Elaine <laughs> yeah. Smith. And I saw them. I saw them. I saw them. Carly and Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Simit. Simit. Elaine and Simit. DJ. <laughs> Miss Simit. Miss Simit. All right, Miss Simit. Thank you very much. Thank you, my darling. Once again, much. give her a round of applause. Thank you. It's such a wonderful joy to have you. Ah, hang on. <laughs> a wonderful joy to have her on the show. And can we have a big hand for all the guests who were on the show today? Paul Trouble Anderson was up first. That's right. And then we had Noel McCoy. He's still here somewhere in the building. Thank you for sticking around. And give yourselves a round of applause for being here. And you online there watching, thank you so much. So, I'm going to round off the show with a couple of tunes. I might go here, there and everywhere, who knows. But I'm going to go down, well, I, it won't be memory lane for some of you. Some of you might know the tune if you're a train spotter or so. And others of you might not, because that's the thing about two decks and a mixer. I play all sorts. All sorts of good quality black music, old and new, across five, six decades worth. Some tunes you'll know, some are electronic, new, and some are old school. Some you know, and some you won't. So here's one from Cracking, and it's a cracking tune.
Today on the show, two decks and a mixer. Thank you for all of you who came down to the show tonight. It's been really wonderful. The vibe and the energy here in, I keep saying studio, but we're actually in the basement of Rye Wax Records. And it's been such a wonderful time. We had three amazing guests, Paul Trouble Anderson, Mr. Noel McCoy. And then we rounded off the pick and play with the legendary... DJ Elaine. If you didn't know who she was, hopefully you got an insight to what she's about, where she's coming from musically, and some of her pedigree, her history. But the music continues for the next half an hour, well, 25 minutes actually. So please stick around. Those of you viewing online, it's wonderful having your company. Do feel free to share the link. If you don't share the link, don't spread the love. How are people going to know about the goodness of what we are bringing to you, the music lovers and aficionados of good quality black music, old and new? So I'm going to stay in with the 70s and bring you one more track and then I think I might flip the script. Who knows? I haven't got that much time left. But just to let you know as well, before I do that, drop the needle on the record, this Friday... The 15th of May, we will be hosting the next edition of Two Decks and a Mixer live from East London. That's right, East London we're going to head over to BBE Record Store. BBE Record Store is part of the Institute of Light in East London. Um, yeah, London Fields is the area. So come on down there, one till 5 p.m. in the afternoon. My very special guest will be K15, who's a young producer 
talented DJ from London and also curator, musical DJ extraordinaire, Nubian Soul joins me for the next instalment, the Roadshow at London Fields uh, inside BBE Records. So come on down. So moving on to something, something rather lovely, a version that you've maybe not ever heard before. Check this out. Dancers out. Come on, dancers. You're lurking in the background. Let's see you boogieing on down to this one. Put the mic on.
We're switching up the flavours again. I mentioned his name earlier. Producer, London talent, K15. Brand new music from him that I've been supporting quite a few months. This is on the US Wild Oats Records. Shouts out to Kyle Hall. And don't forget, K15 will be my special guest alongside, alongside Nubian Soul. She's a DJ, music choreographer and does all sorts. They'll be joining me at um, BBE Record Store in East London. Come and join us this Friday, 1 till 5 o'clock in the afternoon at London Fields. The Institute of Light is where you'll find BBE Records. On with the tune. Take care, Yvonne. Wonderful to have you down here today. Thank you for supporting the show. And everyone online, Rui, Robert Hines, how are you? Thank you for the love and support. We've had such a wonderful time. Tony, big up yourself. Yeah, hot tune from K15. He's going to be my special guest this Friday on the Roadshow, which continues. But also, we've had an amazing time down here in the basement of Rye Wax. I just want to take the time to thank all the staff behind the scenes who did so wonderful. Thank you for your hospitality. Really appreciate that. Tom and the crew behind the scenes. Rachel here at Rye Wax. And everybody, everybody, everybody. <laughs> Got time for a couple more and then it's a wrap. Don't forget, people, Friday, 1 o'clock, 
till 5 p.m. in the afternoon. We will be broadcasting live from BBE Records. The show continues for two decks and the Vestax Mixer.